warm and breezy out there across the valley with low humidity, but much cooler than yesterday. No hundreds around, but the air is still very dry. So these counties highlighted in red, as we showed you earlier, Hidalgo and Star County still under a red flag warning for about the next 45 minutes up until 6 o'clock. Still pretty dry in the lower valley, but not officially under any advisories over Cameron and Wilsey counties. Now temperatures have cooled today. You know, it's still kind of warm. 80s though, but better than 95 or 100 like we saw yesterday in some areas. 81 in Westlaco, 80 in Port Isabel. Wind speeds kind of gusty at times coming in from the north and northwest. The actual sustained wind speeds about 20 to 25 miles per hour in spots with some gusts still over, over 30 miles per hour, but the winds will gradually decrease this evening. A lot of dry air coming down. That's also the reason for the red flag warning. The humidity is only around 20% or less in some areas, so you get dry conditions breezy weather and then low humidity all that factors into wildfires that can spread quickly if they start so definitely don't want to do any burning the good news is the winds will be much less much lighter tomorrow you check out the evening planner temperatures go from about 80 at 7 p.m through the 70s at 9 and into the 60s by 11. keeps dropping though should be in the 50s very late tonight so have a pretty cool night across the valley when you wake up early tomorrow morning close to sunrise or so the temperatures will be down in the 50s Nearly everywhere, except for maybe right along the coast, still about 66 at South Padre Island. But this might be one of the coolest mornings still left this spring. So if you like cool weather, get outside and enjoy tomorrow. But temperatures are on their way back up, at least to the lower 80s in most spots for the day on Thursday. 50s at 8 a.m., upper 70s at noon with not too much wind tomorrow, low humidity, and then by afternoon holding close to the 80 degree mark, give or take a little bit in most areas with sunshine all day long. Maybe a few wispy high clouds moving through, but Texas has cooled off now. No more 90s on the map, 60s and 70s up north, even 58 in Amarillo. The really cold weather has kind of moved eastward along with all the rain. That kept going eastward and not coming south our way, but high pressure coming in from the north will kill off the wind tonight with lower humidity around, so it will be a calmer night out there. And then tomorrow, sunshine around, maybe some patchy high thin clouds coming through as you see on the screen. By tomorrow evening, we're still clear, and even tomorrow night will still be fairly cool, probably down in the upper 50s and lower 60s by Friday morning. Friday, not too hot either. Temperatures back up in the low to mid 80s with sunshine most of the day, but maybe a few clouds here and there. By the time we get to the weekend, the breezes start to increase from the southeast, and that could start to warm temperatures and raise humidity over the weekend. We'll have to watch this next cold front. We'll track for you coming up at 6 o'clock, which could bring a chance for rain next week. But the breezes are still out there this evening. And the first 1570 forecast shows a calmer day tomorrow. The breeze is decreasing early in the morning everywhere if they are still around at the coast. And then sunshine continues for Friday and even kind of on Saturday, maybe some morning clouds on Saturday. But you notice the temperatures are going up and the humidity going up. We do see chances for rain maybe coming back in as early as next Tuesday. We'll keep tracking those chances in your first 1-5 forecast. Oscar.